Hey guys, as you already know, I am a vegan. I post a lot of vegan recipes and things like that, but I don't think I've ever told you why I went vegan or how I went vegan and what sort of the backstory to that was. As I've already mentioned in a previous video, I have been vegetarian most of my life. I used to eat meat here and there as a kid, but it was always a struggle for my parents to get me to eat meat. <laughs> so the transition itself from vegetarian to vegan wasn't really that difficult but it was the learning experience and the change in me that was huge. In the beginning, it was all about health. It was stemmed from Rob's cancer and knowledge and the information that Amy and Rob went out and researched just made a huge ripple effect on so many people's lives. If you're watching this and you've turned vegan because of my videos or for Lewis's videos or from Amy's knowledge, that all started with Rob. I know that my health journey would be significantly different if it wasn't for Rob's journey and for the information that got passed on to us. And for that, I thank you, Rob, and I thank Amy as well for researching and learning as much as they could in the beginning and sharing it with Lewis and myself. And from then on, we just kept going. We fell in love with the different types of foods we were eating, all the new cooking ideas we had, we really did love it. We loved being vegan, we loved being different. I lost 10 kilos. I didn't even know I had 10 kilos to lose, but I lost 10 kilos. Lewis lost a heap of weight and we actually felt amazing. From the initial information that we had and from starting to see results on this vegan diet, we just started watching as many documentaries as we could and learning and reading anything we could on the health benefits to do with veganism. Now this video is not designed to slam a heap of facts and information at your face to make you turn vegan. It is purely just to tell you how I went vegan and the things that I've learned along the way. One of the most amazing things about this vegan journey for me is how your taste buds change. A lot of people say that after when they quit sugar, they you know don't have the sweet tooth anymore, or they fall back in love with natural sugars and the sweetness of fruits and things like that. Well, the same goes for veganism. I used to not really love pumpkin. I didn't like kiwi fruit. I still don't like bananas, but a heap of other fruits and vegetables that I never really liked because I didn't really have the acquired taste for it. I now love being vegan. It's awesome, I love mother nature. <laughs> I'll be honest and I have already mentioned, we first went vegan for the health side effects. It was only after being vegan for a little bit and watching a few documentaries and actually talking with my friend Molly at the beginning of this year in Canada that I really learned a little bit more about the animal cruelty side of things. Molly recommended that I watch two documentaries, Blackfish and The Cove. Oh my goodness, I bawled my eyes out. I am a huge lover of animals. All I want is a puppy. <laughs> but those documentaries just showed me how much as humans we think we have this power and this hierarchy over animals when we don't. They are just like us and we are all equals. If you have not watched those documentaries yet, go watch them. They're definitely not uplifting, so be prepared for that. They are fairly graphic as well, but if you want to learn a little bit more about animal cruelty and really what's going on in the world, I recommend watching them so, so much. So animal cruelty and learning a little bit more about that is the second pillar in why we're vegan. And the third is the environmental side. It was after watching the documentary Cowspiracy that I learned a little bit more about how the cattle industry really impacts the environment. Again, I've never hugely been interested in the whole global warming thing. I'm sure I'm just like many other people where you hear about it and it's concerning to you, but you're like, oh, well, what can I do about it? So you just sweep it under the rug. But after the Cowspiracy puts the facts in front of your face and the effects that the cattle industry is having on the environment, environment, you can't ignore it. I'm saying it again, but it Cowspiracy really did open my eyes to all these new different things that I'd never even thought about and never even considered that I was doing and helping by being vegan. I know that at the moment veganism is seen as this hippie trend phase, whatever you want to call it, but I hope for the future of our planet for the future of our children, for our children's children, we start making it common knowledge in mainstream education as well. So to recap, my three pillars on why I'm vegan are health, animal cruelty, 
and the environment. I'm really inspired about this topic. I'm gonna to keep sharing as many vegan recipes as I can. I'm wearing my Love Over Blood vegan bracelet. And even though there are only minuscule little ways of me promoting my veganism, anything helps. And I'm just so grateful I get to share this. That is it guys. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about why I'm vegan. If you have any questions about being vegan or if you wanna learn more, let me know. If you're not sure how to start or if you're not sure what to eat, Go look at my other videos. I've been posting a heap of vegan recipes and there are more to come. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you later.